couple days ago I've been testing some lighting scenarios and new camera angles in my YouTube studio, so this room. And actually I recorded one of the angles on Micro Four Thirds camera, OM5, and other angle on full frame, which is Sony A7 IV. And I've been kind of surprised because the footage from OM5 is OM log, but with the baked in LUT. So actually that goes straight from the camera to DaVinci Resolve, no color grading, no nothing. So actually what was shown in the camera is my final footage. And for Sony, that was S-Log3, so have to be overexposed between one to two stops and then color graded in post. But the color grading actually I've applied was really simple, just color space transform and taming a bit of the highlights. And at the end, I'd say a part of different angles and different look because different lenses and depth of field has been used. I cannot tell the difference and funny thing is that OM5 is 4 to 0, 8 bit and I think it's like 80 megabits per second, something like that. So quite bad codec and for Sony it is S-Log3, 4 to 2, 10 bit and like 400 megabits per second codec, so really good codec, all I, so the best you can get in in that type of the camera. And to be honest, in post, I cannot see that much of a difference, like they match quite well, and I probably wouldn't guess when I see it on YouTube. So check the quick comparison and let me know, you can tell which one is macro for thirds with kind of shitty codec, and which one is full frame with the best codec you can get in that camera. And I won't disclose the focal lens and f-stop because that would probably give away the cameras right away. But regarding the colors and quality, I doubt you can guess it. So, so I guess the camera and the codec for YouTube is less important than the lights, for example. So, so I guess almost any camera will do. And this. YouTube notion that you have to have full frame with the shallowest depth of field is just bullshit. Let me know in the comments if you can guess which one is which. Cheers mate! That's the key light. Then the feel. I think it looks better at least on a screen with the feel. And then the accent light. Or the background light, however you want to call it. Mm -hmm.